Okay, I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of a setup that I use with um, Jamboard. So this is currently running on uh, Lenovo Yoga N23, which is a Chromebook that supports Android apps. And I'm just going to fire up Jamboard. I've already got a board, which is blank, set up. Um, so I'm screencasting at the same time on here. And um, one of the things I've used this for is to create um, videos to talk about the current pre-release in A-level chemistry. Um, so for those of you who are into chemistry, this might mean something. Um, so it's all about arsenic poisoning. And it talks about a number of compounds of arsenic. So arsenic sulfide, which is AS2S3, it talks about... Um, couple of oxides of arsenic, um, O4, and AS2O3, and um, the rather delightfully named arsine. And one thing that might come up, and this is only a tiny bit of the pre-release, is the oxidation states of arsenic. So here we've got hydrogen in the plus one oxidation state. Remember, hydrogen is plus one unless it's bonded in a metal hydride or hydrogen itself. So multiply that by three, gives you minus three. And that means the plus three, obviously. <laughs> that means the arsenic must be minus three. And that's the lowest oxidation state of arsenic. Now I'm using a Wacom tablet here to actually write on this. I could use my finger, but I wouldn't be able to do quite such fine detail. If you've got a Chromebook that's got a stylus, obviously, that you can do this in a little bit more detail. Here you've got minus 2 for oxygen, times 3 gives you minus 6, and therefore each arsenic must be plus 3, giving you a total of plus 6 there. Multiply that by 2. Here... Um, so that's the three oxidations there. Here we've got minus 4 times by 2 equals minus 8. So minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4. So each arsenic must be plus 4. And in arsenic sulfide here, we've got arsenic again in the plus 3 oxidation state because sulfur is in the same group as oxygen. And therefore we've got minus 2 times 3 equals um minus 6. So if you times that by 2, you once again get plus 6. Okay, so that's a little bit about the oxidation states. Um, things like shape might come up. So let's have a different board here, board 2. Um, so we might have to talk about the shape of something like ASH3, but it also talks about things like AS. H2 and CH3, which is methyl arsenine. So here, arsenic is in group 5, so we do a dot and cross diagram. Dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, cross there, cross there, cross there for the hydrogen electrons. So we've got three bonding pairs of electrons and one non-bonding pair of electrons. These are going to repel to be as far apart as possible. This is isoelectronic with ammonia. Exactly the same outer electron configuration. And we get a tetrahe sorry, pyramidal shape here. And we get a bond angle, which is probably somewhere around about that of ammonia which is 107 degrees, probably a little bit bigger in reality because this is a bigger atom, so the repulsion will be less. Um, we look at the methyl or the dimethyl or the trimethyl R signs, all we're doing is exactly the same thing, except in the, long, in the final diagram, you're replacing a hydrogen with a methyl group. So you get something like that. Okay, so that is methyl arsine. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. 
and the tablet works really well with this and it's quite a natural writing experience and I can jump back to the previous board if I want to and start adding stuff to that anyways it gives you an idea of what you can do with Jamboard and these boards are collaborative um, and the files now exist in your drive and you can sort of put them into a folder and so on but you have to open them up from Jamboard you can't you can only preview them in drive as far as I can see anyways okay so I'll stop it there before I crash my drawing anymore Minimize that and stop.